When you don't have the apex predators to take care of those that are eating the grasses, like the elk and the other deer or uh, like the bison, then they eat too much in one area. And that leads to complete degradation of the banks along the river. Then the banks of the river com collapse during the rainy seasons or the snow melt off and all that silt goes downstream and ends up causing flooding. In addition, because there were no apex predators there, diseases started coming out in the elk. These diseases started being transferred to the cattle ranchers downstream. So again, because of the overpopulation without a proper predator, it impacted not just the immediate ecosystem, but man's lifestyle downstream as well. So they have found tremendous benefits with the reintroduction of the wolf. Not only have they, and the reason is because the wolves chase the grass eaters. So they can't stay in one area and overgraze. And this protects the ecosystem. One of the things that the grass eaters eat are the uh, new shoots uh, and new trees of the aspen trees. And the aspen was disappearing. Now that they can't overgraze in one area, the aspen and oak are coming back with that and the birch. And with the return of that, beavers have come back and beavers build their dams. Dams build a whole nother ecosystem which brings more waterfowl in as well as um, enriching the, the water s systems in general. So it has had all this, these positive effects outside of just predator-prey balance. The entire ecosystem has been put back in place.